Welcome to the build of HMS Hood Battle Cruiser. Part 15. This is a uh, trumpeter kit, scale 1 to 200. Built by me, Jim Steen, 2020. The artwork is by Jim Ray. In this session I'm making uh, these uh, little uh, hose reels that go on on the inside of the uh, under the shelter deck. There's four to be made. There's a, uh, a photo etch part to be bent up and a uh, hose reel. Find the parts and uh, snip them off. There's two different sizes. So you've got to be very careful picking the right one and watch so they don't ping off. Now cutting off the uh, photo edge parts. I remove the uh, plastic coating on one side, but keep it on the other side to keep, help keep the parts intact. There's a whole lot of these are, which are very similar shape, but you got, so that made to make sure you are getting the uh, two correct ones or four of them actually. Taking very carefully uh, cutting the uh, sheet as close as I can to the part. This is when I realised I hadn't taken the coating off. So, so I had to go back and do that again. Carefully moving this off so I'm not lifting any of the uh, photo etch. Now we'll go back and cut the parts out. There we go. Put the uh, parts into plastic containers with labels in there as well. These uh, I picked up at the uh, local supermarket. They're very cheap and they have lids as well. So uh, sometimes they just will not pick up. There it is. And I'll do the next one.
making sure I put the uh, photo etch sheets back in the uh, cut cover so that uh, nothing gets broken and lost. Now I'm uh, trimming off the uh, sprue, trying to be as careful as I can because there's in the middle of that end of that part is a uh, small pin which will go into the uh, photo wedge part. These parts are very small. There's a little bit of flashing on the end, so I need to uh, scrape that off. It's... I don't know whether I can use um, sandpaper sticks on this. Making sure I don't cut my finger. Tried the uh, sanding stick, but it's just uh, it's too small. Knife is the uh, really the only way to go to get rid of that bit of flashing. Gonna have to invest in a new camera with a uh, macro lens so I can get in real close to these parts because uh, there are even smaller parts than this in the build. If you watch uh, Ron Cavalry's videos, he has a um, he's got his camera working well. Then he has a macro lens, and then he goes real in tight with a uh, super macro. And even then, after that, he goes smaller with his microscope. Uh, he does a fantastic job of uh, showing all the intricate uh, things he does and uh, really good close-up views. When he was doing these parts, he could actually show very closely what was going on. I can highly recommend his videos and it's entertaining as well because uh, he does get sidetracked occasionally which is great fun. This is the little uh, photo etch bender I got just rotating it around to get the, one of the right fingers the right width so I can use it. It's a matter of sliding it under the right one getting it square and there's a, a bend line on that which uh, makes it fit okay. So we get it down on the line. You notice the uh, tremor in my hand. It's a uh, not Parkinson's disease, it's actually what's called essential tremor. So uh, it's when I concentrate very hard it comes, but most of the time it's not there. See, there it is there now. What I'm doing now is putting the uh, roll a bit between the uh, bent up and uh, trying to line the pins up accurately. It's a bit of a fiddly job because they're so small. Once I get them somewhere near where I want them, uh, I use uh, super glue, CA glue on the end of a uh, toothpick using very minute amounts because this part is so tiny I don't want to flood it. 
Thanks for watching. This session was filmed at Preset Dockyard, Thailand. Please subscribe and cheerio. Catch you next time.